Hey everybody, what's it Fox Gaming here? I've got a brand new PvP build video for you today. This is an updated status effect build to use in the Dark Zone and Conflict. Um, this is replacing my status effect build from TU8 and 9 that I uploaded um, earlier in the year. Um, this build is a bit of a hybrid, but I've spent a bit of time putting this exact combination together and I feel that this is a really, really strong option. It's completely unique and I'm not seeing anything even remotely like this yet, so um, you know, I'm quite proud of this build. So I'll go through why I've opted for the pieces, um, the gear and weapon pieces that I have and the skills and, and then I'll demonstrate how it plays in conflict. So this build actually utilises, and um, the reason it's a hybrid is it utilises very high weapon damage in conjunction with status effects. My previous um, status build and a lot of other status builds in TU8 and 9 were more about skill damage in the sense that you'd be applying burn and bleed. Um, you know with high skill tier and that still works quite well with ongoing directive But this build is more around using status effects to crowd control the enemy to CC them as, a, as opposed to applying raw damage to them And then using my weapon to sort of fill in the damage So I've opted for trauma on the chest as my talent of choice here when you shoot an enemy in the head You apply blind when you shoot an enemy in the chest you apply bleed that is buffed by your status effects They both have a 30 second cooldown and they are independent of each other so you can apply them at the same time, separately, it doesn't make a difference. My backpack talent of choice is Wicked, or specifically Perfectly Wicked here. Applying a status effect increases total weapon damage by 18% for 27 seconds. You can run just a standard Wicked on any backpack, that's just 20 seconds instead of 27. But I've actually got four different ways to apply status effects with this build, so um, you know you don't really need the 27 seconds. It just it was good because it's a Golan piece anyway, and that gives you status effects, so I was happy to run this. Um, I've opted to run the Vile Mask with this build because um, whenever you apply a status effect you also apply dot to damage over time and that's based on your concussion grenade so I have opted to go with um, Demolitionist here. Um, a little trick with Vile as well, not only is it buffed by things like your um, grenade damage, it's also buffed by damage to targets that are cover and damage to armour. So you definitely want to be running a weapon with damage to targets that are cover or damage to armour. Um, and Demolitionist class here also gives me the 5% dam damage to targets that are cover and that applies to my whole team as well. I did consider choosing a few different specialisations, um, and I'll quickly show you those now, and they're all very good, but um, there's about three or four different reasons why Demolitionist wins out for me. So Demolitionist, you get the 20% burn resistance, which is fantastic in PvP at the moment. You get the 10% increased explosive damage, which does buff your concussion grenades and therefore buffs um, Vile. You get the bleed grenades, which is one more way to apply a status effect, and of course that's been buffed by the explosive ordnance. Um, the armor kit gives you 30% weapon handling, which means you can reload your weapons faster and swap off quicker and have increased stability and accuracy. Really nice. Um, you get the 5% um, da damage to targets out of cover, which applies to your weapon damage. It doesn't apply to your status effects, so things like bleed and burn aren't affected by this, but vile is, so that buffs that as well as my weapon damage. And you get um, a crisis response, so my ammo just automatically refills if I'm engaged in a fight and my armor is reduced to zero. Um, that's really nice there as well. Uh, I haven't actually specced into this yet, so I probably should put that on there. But So, yeah, there's a, quite a few reasons to run this class. It has a lot of really unique benefits that benefit the Vile and the status build in general. Another good option is Survivalist, because you get burn grenades. You get a, um armor kit that applies to everybody. You get status... Uh, where is it? You get 10% bonus damage to targets with status effects. That's an obvious one, and that applies to your whole team. But it still does less damage, by the way, than, um, than Demolitionist, just to make you aware of that, with, with the Vile at least. Um, and you get skill haste when you're in cover, just a nice way to get your cooldowns back faster. So this is a really good choice. The only other choice that I considered was um, Technician, and that's purely for the one, uh, the one percent, one percent, the extra one skill tier to buff my skills. The reason I haven't gone that for that is that I am running Future Perfect. Now I don't actually recommend running the Mechanical Animal. It's nice for PVE, but it isn't great for PvP. My weapon of choice would absolutely be the Carbine, because it's a laser, it's super stable and accurate, or possibly even the Foul, but I haven't unlocked Future Perfect um, in my library yet, so I can't run that. But as soon as I do, I will be getting rid of this, because I don't like how this feels in PvP. The rate of fire 720 is a little bit too slow for my liking, but it doesn't have you know, what I feel the strengths of some of the slower ones, so not great. But this roll was too good to give up, you know, 10% damage to targets that are cover and obviously the Future Perfection, which is the talent of choice here. Another really good talent of choice is Vindictive, because when you kill an enemy with a status effect applied, which in theory should be all of your kills, you are buffing yourself and your team, um, you know, your critical hit chance and damage uh, within 15 meters. And if you look at my stats, I'm at 35%, so that will shoot straight up to 50. If somebody was running Coyote, that's 60% straight off the bat. Um, and 
what would this go to 80 90 percent so that would make it really really strong um, so vindictive is a fantastic choice but future perfect weapon kills grant one plus skill tier for 19 seconds or i think it's 15 for the non-perfected version um, and this stacks up to three times so that's really nice because i can just buff um, all of the um, all of my skills my skills of choice here are the jammer pulse because you can use this to proc wicked off of enemy skills like hives and drones uh, even if it destroys them instantly it still gives you wicked but of course with the extra skill tier that i have here and hopefully the increased skill tier from future perfect um, this will disrupt enemies for quite a long time to prevent f uh, further skill usage it's good at breaking shields as well uh, and the right foam is going to buff my right foam here um, you know i'm going to get more in the mag the cooldowns will be better the radius will be wider so um, you know the, that's kind of why i've opted for that my gear pieces are Fenris, just because I'm using an AR and I would always use an AR with this build. I did consider an SMG because I could use the firm handshake to get 15% state, um, status effects, which is nice. But um, SMGs are a bit too unreliable at range and you want to be landing consistent headshots with this to get your trauma procced. Um, so I just felt that, that AR was a better choice. So Fenris here. Two Walker Harrison Co for the weapon damage and damage to armor, which is further boosting my vial. One Providence for the headshot damage. I will be swapping this piece out, so when I fully min-max this build, this will become a China Light, but I need to have it with um, both status effects and critical hit chance, so I can re-roll it onto a red weapon damage. You do want to try and aim for status effects and critical hit chance on every single piece for your attributes, so this is a, a great um, piece here. Uh, status effects, critical hit damage here, that's not great. This is a good one, high weapon damage, high status effects, and pretty high critical hit chance, so that's what you're looking for. Um, but I have opted to run two blues with this as well, just to get the... Um, the increased armor because I don't want to be too squishy you know the three reds in conjunction with um, perfectly wicked is more than enough to give me weapon damage that's going to be you know pretty high and my survivability comes from the two blues in conjunction with the fact that I can riot foam and blind which means that you know ultimately that's making making me last longer as um, they, they can't shoot me as easily Vial is fantastic to add into this build, but another good choice is the Imperial Dynasty Holster. Um, you want to use one or the other to get the one skill tier. That's really useful. But, you know, we all, we all know now, um, based on what I've said in my previous Vial video, um, that Vial is buffed quite considerably by um, explosive damage, and it works really well with status builds. It's just an extra way to apply damage whilst you're shooting into people. So that's why I've gone for this very specific combination. As I say, I will just swap this out for a China Light because I'm not too fussed about the headshot damage. It's nice and it is a big damage buff. 15% is awesome, but I don't feel it's a necessity to make this build viable. So not an easy build to um, to put together, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of very sort of unique combinations here with the status effect and critical hit chance. But if you can put it together, give it a shot. Um, please do let me know in the comments if you've come up with anything similar to this. I don't think I've seen anybody running anything close to this build. So... Um, you know, I, I do really want to promote build diversity here, and I appreciate that a lot of people don't like right foam in, in the dark zone in PV in conflict at the moment. You um, but you know, ultimately, I'm here to promote build Rogue diversity, and this, in my opinion, detective. is a true hybrid build. So, um, you know, I appreciate if I get some dislikes for using right foam. That's fine. I get that. Oh well, that was a great shot. Run away. Pretty sure my teammates just killed that guy. He did. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so if you go through my channel, you will notice that I do. I, I don't often run meta builds. Um, I'm, I, I like to do sort of meta counters. Um, you know, because I just feel that they're best for the game in general. Uh, sort of uh, hybrid builds, that kind of thing. So that's kind of my, my preference there. And you know nobody likes status effect builds i get that they they can be deemed as a little bit toxic um but this is a hybrid this is a true hybrid build in my opinion so there's nothing i'd like to do that oh wow that guy got wrecked yeah so um you know i will um uh, this will be my PvP um, playlist. I do have a PvE playlist as well. Oh, get wrecked, son! So I'm really happy with this build. As you can see, it plays really well. There's so many different ways to debilitate your enemies. 
And you know, Vile does proc with trauma as well, which is nice. Right frame myself. Yeah, so um, if you don't have Vile yet, um, just you know, I will link the uh, video in the description. Um, it's part of the season pass. All you need to do is own Woni, Warlords of New York. You don't have to have the the paid season pass. The um, it's I think it's seven ninety nine for the thousand tokens in the UK. Um, you just get it at level ninety. Really used to get hold of. And the good news is file props have any set effect as well, so even that right from there would have applied it, which is nice. Ooh, no, 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 no. Wow, this is just carnage. This is absolute carnage. See, you don't have to run this exactly the same as me. I think the specialization part is the bit that you can change the most. Um, you know, and, and survivalists would be a great second choice. Do you notice how that killer went through his head, his body, and back to his head again? Head to apply the blinds, body to apply the bleed, back up to his head to ensure I'm getting more damage. And because he can't move, it is really easy to do that. Goodbye skills. Oh. I really need to make it. There you go, and that future perfect is just getting me my um, skill cooldowns faster, which is nice. Rogue striker drone detected. One person left. Let's see if we can 1v1 him. So yeah, I hope that I've demonstrated that this build is the right combination of attributes, you know, the, the, just enough armour to be tanky enough, just enough skill damage to... Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Just enough skill damage to, um, <clears throat> you know, get that bleed doing, doing what it should do in the background. Uh, just enough uh, weapon damage to absolutely smelt anything that comes in my path, so yeah, I, I really love this build. and. You know, that was a really easy game there. Um, I would have liked to have shown shown this against a team that might have been quite skillful just to highlight some of the weaknesses as well because that was quite a dominant game. Um, but yeah, that you know, I can't control what I, I queue into in conflict and obviously I don't want to spend all day recording videos. So um, I do, again, and I've said this a few times recently, but I do again want to thank you all for the continued support of my channel. It's really starting to take off. Um, any likes and subscribes if you like the content really go a long way. Um, but the, the most important thing for me is the comments. I really want to hear your thoughts on the content in general, the builds that I make, any suggestions that you have. Um, if you want me to name you in a video and you have a build, please message me directly on Xbox um, or on my YouTube channel, of course. My game attack, as you probably saw in the video, is just simply What's It Fox with a space in the middle. Just drop me a message. If there's anything that you want me to try out and advertise, I will do so. We can queue together. Um, I can credit you. Um, you know, just, just let me know in, in, in a message or in the comments. So 10 for 1 with 5 assists and 34 million damage, I think kind of highlights just how strong that build is. You know, they didn't have some great players on their team and that's not to call anybody out. Uh, conflict is a, a difficult place and I have some terrible games. Um, but yeah, hopefully those stats, are, you know, demonstrated the strength of the build. 
But if you did stick through to the end, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.